Let's consider the goals of embedding ClickSense in a multi-tenant SaaS environment. Ultimately, you want to provide a unique dashboard to each of your end customers. You might also want to enable your customers to extend their own dashboards with their own sheets and charts, but you don't want to maintain these separate dashboards. In the next few slides, we will explain how you can use our APIs to make a copy of the template app for each of your customers and load it with customer-specific data. In this animation, we've made a few assumptions. We've assumed you already have a multi-tenant SaaS platform and thus assume you have a piece of software which acts as a broker, a software capability that you already use today to maintain your SaaS applications for all your customers. The principle of SaaS automation is quite simple. You first create a template app, also called a dashboard, and you make a copy for each of the customer instances on your SaaS platform. The template app already contains a template with 80% of the functionality, and we provide some predefined sheets, charts, dimensions, and measures to get you started. Let's do a deeper dive and understand each step. In the upcoming video, you will see the broker in action. But what are the activities that the SaaS broker automates in the demo? What are the steps or stages? First, it will create a stream for each customer. Secondly, it will copy the template app. Next, it replaces the script with a customer-specific one, or in most cases, you just have to replace the database connection. Using the new script, the app is reloaded. This is where we basically make a compressed copy of the data and create the associative model. In the final stage, we publish the app in the stream with the name of the customer. This page is a live representation of what a software as a services organization may look for. For demonstration purposes, the process is divided in four steps. Select customer, select template, start provisioning, and test. Completing each phase allows you to go to the next step. Let us start with stage number one, select customer. Here we define which customers need access to the ClickSense application. For demonstration purposes, we predefine fictional customers like Sunny or Cloudy Petrol. Using the Insert New Customer button, you're able to create your own customer name and users. A user in the system is defined based on their name, group and country. Click on Go to Step 2 to proceed to the next step. We have selected our customers in Step 1. And as you can see, that step is now marked completed. Step number two will demonstrate the process which click applications you will make available to the selected customers. On the left side, you find a template selector. Two template applications are available. We select the sales template. Click on go to step three to proceed to the next step. We have now selected both customers and application that will be available to them. Before we click on the Start button, let us look at what will happen. The sales template will be copied for each customer. Although the template application is generic, its content will be unique for every customer, simply because each customer's data get the data loaded from their own database or data sources. On the right side of the page, you see the available streams and applications. When provisioning for the first time, you see one stream called Template. Opening the App section, you will find two applications, including the one we are using called Sales. If you look more closely, you see that these applications are in Stream Template. Now, press Start to create the apps in ClickSense.
The previous steps have now been marked completed. We have shown the process in a semi-automated flow. A fully automated platform could provide the customer's new capabilities with the click of a button. If you now look at the click sense part, which is on the right side of the screen, the number of streams have been multiplied based on the customer name. The app section now includes multiple sales applications. Every customer stream got their own personalized sales application and is ready for use. We have now shown the automation and creation of ClickSense app per customer. Using the same technology, it allows the sales vendor to remove apps if they are not being used by the customer for a predefined amount of time. Reactivation of the application by the customer is fast, easy and automated. Using the APIs, this way it provides an automated maintenance mechanism and can contribute to create an optimized platform. The last step test allows the possibility to demonstrate single sign-on, IT governance and cell service BI. The group to which the user belongs to defines the available functionality for that user. Very personalized variations are of course possible. For demonstration purposes, you'll find different roles such as reporting type user, or we will describe as a consumer, but it also includes a contributor, developer, and an admin. In the simulate user login section, select the user from the pull-down bar. For now, select the user John and click on the button Test User Login. A new browser window will be opened. Logging in as user John, the ClickSense Hub will show two streams. The Everyone stream and the company stream called Sunny Petrol. Sunny Petrol stream will only show the applications to which he has access to. Users from other company will not see the Sunny Petrol stream. Try different scenarios out yourself and get comfortable with the capabilities that the website can offer.